How many times have you seen this? Or this? And don't forget this one. Oh yeah, and this one. Guys, this is terrible. Yes, it's all jokes and it's pretty hilarious. It's only funny because it's true. Not only does this hurt, this is actually terrible for the skin. Just do a quick Google search and find out for yourself. I don't know about you, but over here, I don't like putting my clients through that. So today we're gonna to be making a natural and soothing alternative to traditional aftershave. Before we get into that, if you didn't know, my name is David Thomas, 15 year barber focusing on men's hair care and wellness. And in the words of my six year old son, smash this like button, subscribe, hit that like button, so enjoy the video. Let's go. So I've been using this mixture for almost five years now with no complaints, breakouts, or jumping out of the chair. The key ingredient in this natural remedy is witch hazel. Witch hazel has been shown to relieve inflammation, reduce skin irritation, fight breakouts, and even helps with skin conditions like psoriasis. The next ingredient is the antioxidant rich aloe vera. It's full of vitamins like vitamin C and vitamin E. It's super moisturizing, which softens the skin. And it also fights infections and acne. Now, witch hazel has a distinct floral scent, so I like to add my favorite combination of essential oils to kind of counter the smell. Lavender, tea tree, and peppermint all have their own sets of benefits, and I'll let you guys look those up for yourself. Drop a comment below if you want more essential oil combinations. I mix all of this with some vegetable glycerin to hold it all together. Glycerin also has some moisturizing benefits. Make sure you shake well before you use it. Sometimes the ingredients tend to separate, but that's totally fine. You can apply this mixture the same way that you do traditional aftershave. Now I know what you're thinking, Dave, who has the time to make all this? Who has essential oils just lying around? Don't worry, I got you. The best alternative I can give you is to keep your clippers clean, oiled, and sharpened regularly. Don't forget to zero grab your clippers, but don't have them too close. Y'all gotta chill. We don't need any more of this, this, or this popping up. Here's a quick tip. Always check on the soft part of your skin before using your clippers. If you want to see a tutorial on how I sharpen my clippers, drop a comment below. Some other alternatives, you can just use straight Woods Hazel, which is a quick Amazon click away. If you don't have Amazon, you can check stores like CVS, Target, or Walgreens. Brands like Bayer's and Imperial already come pre-mixed and ready to use. I'll leave some links in the description box. And that's all I have for you guys today. Barbers, let's put an end to burning our clients. And if you're someone that's tired of getting burned, share this with your barber. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.